Time is running out for local Republican leaders to pick their candidate for the 27th Congressional District. Tonight, all of the people vying for the seat made their pitch to those in charge of making that decision. Two on your side's Ron Plants spoke with all of them. After David Bellavia dropped out, nine potential nominees went behind closed doors to speak to the eight GOP party chairs here at Batavia Downs tonight. Now they've got a decision to make. We are listening to these candidates. Everybody that walks in the room today is going to be considered. Otherwise, we wouldn't be you know, holding this interview. This isn't for the, uh, for the cameras. Otherwise, we'd let you guys in. Commissioned a poll that I paid for to find out what the issues are uh, here in the, in the congressional district. I think I pretty much know because I've been representing this area for 12 and a half years. This is not something that's going to be handed to anybody. You might get the nomination, but you're going to go out and run a campaign. And the people of this district expect someone to get out there and run a campaign and run hard. So they want to see some passion, some fire, some energy. Obviously, it's a very condensed time that, that you're going to um, have to run a congressional race. And you have to raise money very quickly, and you have to get out there very quickly. You have to get your name out there very quickly. I think it's critical that uh, every candidate travel across this district and talk to as many businesses and as many residents as they can, because that way you get the perspective of the people. I have uh, a lot of experience taking on tough challenges. Certainly, uh, there has been no more effective uh, or consistent critic of the governor and his economic development policies and the corruption going on. One reason I'm here today is how many people in my district have been encouraging me. I mean, as close as yesterday, doing door to door in my district and people, you know, saying, I, I really hope that that you get this. I have not gotten the call or the little nod that, okay, you know, you are the front runner. So, uh, you know, I think I present a compelling case. I think I would make a good candidate. But again, that's for others to judge. I think they understand my nature. I mean, do we want somebody that's going to go there and, and blend in with the wall, wallpaper? Or do we want somebody that's going to go there and light things up a little bit. What happens if the court rules uh, against our side of the aisle and Chris Collins stays on the ballot? That's way above my pay grade. I'll let the lawyers worry about that. Uh, I'm just concerned about my candidacy. We are we are going to move a, a, a little slower than we originally thought in, in naming our candidate. Legal documentation on many things can't be filed until after the September state primary. In Batavia, Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.